Okay, today is another Starbucks day, but before we go there, I want to talk about something. Fashion. So I like fashion. I might not be good in it yet, but I like doing it. There is something about taking different pieces of cloth, matching them together and kind of creating this unique style, your unique style. That thing that basically separates you from the other people optically. But why am I saying that now, right? Because, well, I live in Tokyo. And while this is Vlogmas, at the same time, it is still the video channel that I started to talk about things Asia. I lived in Seoul before, right? In Seoul and in Korea in general, people try to dress more prominently, try to wear very bright colors to separate themselves from the crowd. Because of this, you see a lot of well-dressed people on the street. You see a lot of very good clothes and stores that you can buy, and you see a lot of very good accessories that you can get. But now Tokyo, on the other hand. Tokyo style is, in my opinion, pretty bad. You see, the difference is that in Seoul people try to stand out, while in Tokyo people try to fit in. The difference is that in Seoul people dress very colorful, while in Tokyo the main colors you will probably see are more dark, more gray, more black. Why? Because the majority of people wears that and everyone tries to fit in. I'm not saying that normal is a bad thing, but if you really like fashion and you try to find a lot of different combinations, then finding the same things over and over again and the same color combinations over and over again is not that good. Actually, the Starbucks is over there, but I'm taking a little detour because I want to finish this talk before I go in so I'm not sitting on my table there and ramble into my camera and, you know, annoy the people next to me. So let me try to find a spot here really fast. All right, let's sit here for a moment. <clears throat> that being said, in Tokyo you basically have three main styles. Style 1 is the normal style that most of the people wear, like this business kind of thing, this neutral kind of thing that tries to fit in with everything else. Number two and the second biggest style here in Tokyo is Shibuya style, which is more or less restricted to Shibuya area. Shibuya style is more, I want to call it tacky, but it really depends on what you consider tacky and what not. As an example, the very famous Gyaru style comes from Shibuya. Style number three is Harajuku style, which is what I think many people consider as weird. It's just really colorful, it's really crazy design things that young people wear to just, you know, get attention on themselves. I know this kind of conflicts with what I said before because I said that you should find your unique style so you stand out from other people and you get attention on that but Harajuku style goes a little bit over the top. It is a little bit too much. It is a bit too... It's like if you take Shibuya style and you put it on steroids then you are at Harajuku style. There are also a few other ones like Ginza style which basically just means expensive style so if you wear like Chanel dresses and whatnot that is Ginza style but these are like the main things that you have here in Tokyo. With that out of the way, let's finally go to Starbucks. Slight change in plans. So um, there's a very famous burger chain called Shake Shack or something like this in the States and they just opened their new um, branch, the first branch here in Tokyo and apparently it's really going really good. Our friends are there right now and they offered me to buy me a, to buy me a burger while I'm going there. So I think like, okay, why not? I can try it. Apparently it's really good because you have to wait like one hour until to two hours in this queue to get your burger. Only problem is, they're going to order it now and I need at least 15 minutes to go there. So I think it might almost definitely be cold already when I get there. But apparently it's really good, so I hope it's worth it. Okay, we just wrapped. Um, the burger was pretty okay-ish. I think it's not worth one or two hours wait, but you know, it's like a one-time thing. I think in the future when it, goes, when it gets less people, um, it might be a really pretty good option. But right now, um, I think there are a lot of better burger stores in Tokyo that you can go. But it was great to talk to people. It was great to do a little bit of socializing. And now, on my way home.